Tonight, we are learning more about sexual assault charges against a lieutenant shaking up the Detroit Police Department tonight. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead has more on that lieutenant's history, why more charges could still be filed, and what the police chief is telling us tonight. Detroit police were very clear about the need for transparency in this case. They have also pointed out there could be more criminal charges potentially based on these disturbing findings. Troubling is devastating. It's, it's something that you can't even prepare for. Interim Detroit Police Chief James White is talking about a case against one of his own. Already arraigned by way of video, prosecutors say 47-year-old Detroit Police Lieutenant Willie Duncan sexually assaulted a 39-year-old female officer after a thorough internal affairs investigation. It's alleged back on February 20th at 3 a.m. Duncan left an off-duty party where that officer also was. He went to her home and sexually assaulted her. Wearing this badge is an absolute privilege. It is not a right. It is a privilege to be a Detroit police officer. And if your conduct does not support that privilege of being able to represent this department in this city with this badge, it is my responsibility to ensure that you don't wear one. If Lieutenant Duncan looks familiar, you might recall him speaking right here to 7 Action News viewers on the subject of auto thefts of popular cars tied to key fob security issues. It's a danger not only to the citizens, to us. Something needs to be done. This time, it's prosecutors calling Duncan's actions criminal. Police say there's also another open case involving the lieutenant and separate claims made by another female DPD member in May, which was actually reported first. Retired Assistant Chief Steve Dolan spent 31 years on the force and supervised Lieutenant Duncan. He tells us... I was stunned. Lieutenant Duncan, who was first reassigned to another unit, has since been taken off the job without pay. He faces a 15-year felony and is out on 10% of a $25,000 bond. He's due back in court August 27th and ordered to have no contact with the alleged victim. I don't know if alcohol was a contributing factor, but the bottom line is he's being charged with a crime. Very serious crime. One count of CSC three, that is uh, using force or coercion uh, to commit rape. At this time, no charges have been authorized on the other alleged sexual assault that occurred in May. However, both the criminal and departmental investigations continue. Detroit police are also not ruling out the potential for more victims. We did reach out to the lieutenants and sergeants association for a response. So far, we've not yet heard back. Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action.